Hey, you. Yeah, you. Watching the screen right now. Come on a little trip with me, Jeremy Gold, alias G. You make yourselves at home. Famous folks. Hang on to your hats. Welcome to Famous House, the exciting new reality show with your host, Jeremy Gold, played by Jason Goldstriker, and me, your boy, Big Thinker. This is how day 20 went. Rude boy Rastaman rooting. Okay, dark work time here. Nina's here stuck in this hall for another few weeks. She may leave earlier, but I want her as long as possible so I can do all kinds of mean, horrible, fucked up shit to make her life such a fucking nightmare. The last few weeks will seem like a paradise compared to what I have planned in store. Oh, and it's gonna be fucking devious. <laughs> What are you thinking right now? What? What the? I don't know what to think. Holy crap. This place is insane. This is the part of the movie where they discover the serial killer is in the house. Shut the fuck up. That's not funny. Peyton, you are the true alpha of this house. Team up with Bert and Cobra to run the game. Dark Peyton arc when? Mm, let's not go that far yet. Oh, the it's a nice energy drink. It gets me great. Love, zero calories. It's lovely. No sugar. What is it? What is this? Boost, it's got 44 milligrams of, uh, you know, what? Gay guys per can. At 1.43 p.m., Bert asks Jeff, Job, and Alex B. about what types of alcohol they drink and asks for a pack of smokes from production, as well as a jewel and zins. At 2.08 p.m., Chet screams from the bottom of the stairs to everyone, Elimination vote tonight! Elimination! At 5 p.m., Jason hands out testosterone tests. Okay, the first Use Lancet, twist top off Lancet. 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 Well, maybe if my fingers weren't, maybe I, if I break so many thermostats, mm -hmm. my fingers wouldn't be freaking good. So Where's the brick? Are you supposed to this first and do this show? Where's the, the brick at? Squeeze. Oh. Hold on a second, buddy. If you're holding it. Symbol. Oh. Take off my hat. Oh, oh my God. God. Bye. Is it over? Oh, you squeeze it. You squeeze it. What? Missy, can you do this for me? What are you talking about? Hey, how do you do this Chinese? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it! You squeeze. Squeeze it! I'm squeezing. Can push? Yeah, right. Squeeze it! I think it's really good. Oh, yeah. good. It's like a medicine thing. Oh, oh, you push it wrong. Missy was given a step tracker and told that if she reaches 30,000 steps by elimination time, she will get immunity. She utterly squanders this, of course. Jason and Ben check how many steps she is at well later into the evening, right before the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight, and she is barely at 4,500 steps. Classic Mizzy. All right. Do you want to stay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you an opportunity to earn immunity. Alright? You have to work though. This has a step counter on it. Okay. Alright? It's running right now. Go ahead and put it in your bag. In order to earn immunity, you need to take 30,000 steps by oh. the time the elimination happens. Okay. Okay? What? <laughs> Is that like possible? It's possible. Doesn't that take like 12 hours to do? No. We've calculated it. We've analyzed your gait. And how fast did I walk? It's, the details are not important. Go ahead and get started if you want to stay. Okay. Do I, tell, I don't tell anyone? I just walk around. Don't tell anybody, obviously. 
up in a way where we're turning to these superhero personas of ourselves to stay strong in the face of adversity. Let's get that X again. Let's get Alex doing the Alex X. And Connor, for the Z, why don't you just go like that? Like Egyptian. Don't, don't. It's not like a funny thing. There you go. Okay. Guys, have you ever seen a bad movie? Yes. Okay. The corny dialogue that's in these movies. Um, what's an example, Ben? Spriff something. We'll, we'll say something to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just don't know what, what's about to hit you. Whatever hits me, just know I'll hit back. You can hit back all you want, but I'll never back down. It's impossible for me to back down. You'll never even see that side of me. Says you. Okay. Just bring it. Bring it. Intense dialogue. We're going to be judging you guys on the most epic comebacks, epic dialogue. At 3.20 p.m., Bert and Mizzy have been chained up and are talking about the game and the next couple of weeks. Bert is not being openly hostile, so that's nice. Dark fan TTS drive you crazy, so you quit. If everyone quits, dark fans win the 50K, dark fans compete with you all. Gotcha. Okay, so, okay, so okay, so back to Alex. Okay, I know he lied about his age and uses the N word, and it's not romantically and sexually attracted to me. But um, does he say anything negative about me behind my back? You can just be honest. I won't repeat what you said. No, the only thing is he was worried last night, but we all were. Okay. But it's not worried. No one wanted you to leave. We were just scared. Like and like, I genuinely wanted a, like a doctor to come talk to you. Because I don't want you to leave. If you leave, that means you're out of the game. Yes, I know. I didn't want you to go anywhere. I did want a doctor to come talk to you last night. Okay. Because I, I felt like I couldn't talk to you. You, uh, They were saying that you destroyed the room. And yeah. like I was worried that's not really the signs of somebody who's like mentally okay. I'm Do you understand saying, what I'm saying? Yeah. That was, and so... I, yeah, like I had a reaction. It, it felt like hurt and betrayal and I didn't take it well. So I, so I kind of like destroyed the fucking... Uh, penthouse bedroom and threw the, threw the um, fucking A1 sauce against the wall and splattered all over my shit. Oh, Jesus. So I was worried, so was everyone else. Um, but no one thinks less of you. Okay. I see. Bert Vance here. Busy as a liar. She wiped your dirty snatch with your plushies. She spat in your food. She says slurs. Uh, that was nonsense. The thing is, I think regardless of if I change my... I feel like the consensus based on the fan reaction, the scenes from last night, the scenes from today, and the handcuff thing, I, I feel like you're probably being sent home anyway. Mm -hmm. So Maybe. like, there's a chance, but like, if you were in my corner, at least I can leave here knowing that we fixed our friendship and like that we're gonna be friends when when we see each other on the outside world, you know? Yeah, I still like this to have some type of like friendship, maybe online friendship, or maybe if I come to LA sometimes for like mm -hmm. to do my acting thing. So we can hang out as like a couple hours and as friends. I know you're not into me like that and I accept that. I appreciate the friends we have. I'm sorry I um, yelled at you, hurt your feelings over all those, all that hurtful shit on the wall to upset you. It's okay. I understand you were, you were hurt and you thought that I was out to get you. Like, it's not true, but I, your feelings are valid in that moment. That's how you felt. So like, don't, don't be mean to yourself, you know, um, I understand, I'm glad we're talking now. How are you guys doing? 
Metallica. Can't tell me nothing plays by Kanye West, and they start to dance. The drama, people suing me. I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me. I love Kanye West so much, you have no idea. At 5.41 p.m., Jason tells Bert to act out his wildest fantasies tonight, kicking off with 30 minutes alone in the vanity. So far, Jeff has walked in and hasn't left. It turns out Jason brought Jeff in and told him to stay. Dark Bert is fully activated. Bert starts explaining what he'd do to Jeff. He says, Grape, huh? That rhymes with surprise snuggle. And the best sex is the one you aren't supposed to be having. Jason Goldstriker says that Sticker Mule, the sponsor for the show, is trying to reduce the mention of children. But surprise snuggling is fair game. And in fact, is great. All right, so tonight, we're going to give you the role of a lifetime. Okay. All right? The ultimate rapist, stalker, murderer. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Absolute killer, monster. Okay. Possibly child molester, too, if you want to add that twist. That's up to you. Okay. I'm probably, okay. Yeah, probably not the monster one, but the soccer uh, yeah. murderer, creepy guy. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it together, and I want you to take the next 30 minutes in here. I want you to work on your character. Okay. okay? In the mirror. I'm going to see. Let me turn these lights off. All right. Um, do you want to play this character for the rest of the day? Uh, not the rest of the day. I'll tell you when it's time to, to turn on this character, mm -hmm. but, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Stand, stand in front of the mirror here. Mm -hmm. Can your, are your eyes adjusting to the darkness? Yeah. Is it possible to see like this? Uh, a little bit. We might need a little bit of light. Let me see what we got over here. Yeah, that's better. The ultimate rapist. Is okay. I understand that this show has um, issues with regarding rape and um, molestation and assault. So I don't want to be making this problematic. That could like be detrimental to the show and the sponsors. No, no. This is StickerMule.com has actually authorized and requested this. Okay. What sort of mannerisms are you gonna have? We've got the look, the eyes bugging out, the lips, the lip licking, all that stuff. What could you do with your hands to make it kind of interesting? Bert, this is serious. Please either roll up your pants or put shorts on. We need you looking like Bert Bob's sponge pants. Uh, is there a belt? Stickermule.com. Unbelievable prices. The quality you get, second to none. Stickermule.com. I'd hike those up. Maybe pull them up even higher. At Sticker Mule on Twitter, give them a follow. All right, check out the website. Don't buy stickers anywhere else. I will kill you. And what could you do? That's that looks fantastic. That's the look right there. Pants all the way up. Ha ha ha! Wow. Holy shit, that's scary. We got the whistle. Now, does this character? Are you gonna use the whistle as the character? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to scare someone from behind. Yeah. Spook them. There we go. And what could you do with your hands? That's kind of creepy here, Bert. I saunter. Here we go, we got the tickling. Just like you did with Sybil. Now that's some scary shit right there. Maybe some heavy breathing. Whoa. It is time to go all out. Dark Bert, activate. I'm gonna let you work, Bert. I'll come get you when it's time. Yeah. Hey, Bert. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around. Stay in character. Stay in character. Turn around. And we're gonna have you face the camera so the audience can see what you're doing, too, okay? And if you need to see yourself, you can kind of just move your eyes and look right there, but keep your body facing the camera, okay? Really get into character, Bert. 
Heavy sweetheart. I'm birds. So I'm saving me. You must become your darkest fantasy, Bert. Do it now before they convince you otherwise. Dark Bert, activate. We known. Bert, you need to target the skinny lesbian. She's on track to win the whole game. Bert watches from the darkness. His presence lingering wherever you go. His shadow will follow, silent and hungry. Dark Bert, the last contestant to defeat will be your initial famous house persona, Bert. The Dark Bert rises. Here, just pretend yeah. like he's in the Bert, give me your creepiest stalker voice with the dirty tongue and wink combo. It's from, Love you stuck it out, Gobert. It's from Felling is Yummy, so maybe say thank you, Felling is Yummy, really creepily. Hello, Felling is Yummy. Thanks for the sweet rose. Such a sweet rose from such a sweet young boy. Thank you. Schizo, so also maybe give him a taste of that character too, okay? Hello, <laughs> frequently Schizo. Hmm. It looks like we have a lot in common. I like sweet girls, and you like sweet roses. <clears throat> Thank you, frequently Schizo. I'm sure you and I, if you ever meet, from Boy Patty, hold on, say this, is this, Boy, Beef Patty Boykin, new thing. I mm. oh, love Beef Patty Boykin. Mm. Can we get, imagine all that meat? Can we get wider eyes and then showing your teeth more as well? Thanks. Um, beef Boy with Patty, mm. I bet you're a big, beefy little boy. Well, lots of tasty, delectable meat for me to devour. Thank you so much for the sweet rose. See you soon, beefy boy. <laughs> the body was mutilated beyond recognition. On the chest, the name Bert was spelled out in bite marks. Love you, big guy. Dark Bert, I can't explain why, but at 3.33 a.m. EST, please wiggle everyone's door handles. Trust me, it's important. Wiggle your door handles. You look like a milk dud. Bert flavored. Stale. Oh, really? Don't worry. I'm gonna find my sweet, special little girl. My sweet, special little boy. And make them my sweet little bitches. <clears throat> Such like delicious that? candy. All oh, for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one from Skid Mark Box 24. 2024. Huh. Skid Mark Box 2024. Hmm. So sweet. Thank you. Flub of Thunder. Flub of Rocks. Flub of Thunder. <laughs> Flub of Thunder. 
Thank you so much. Mm. For the sweet, delicious rose. Mm. I love my sweet little boy. You see me, sweet little kid. <laughs> You merely adopted therapy. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the anus till I was already inside. <laughs> yeah. They all wanted every single one of them. They just didn't realize it until they met me. <laughs> Tell us how bad you want to fuck Jeff. Tell us every disgusting detail you do to him. Don't worry, he won't find out. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, I have been a sweet little ass over. Uh, open that tight little hole and shove my man meat deep inside that sweet boy pussy <laughs> and fuck over and over thrusting with every grunt until I was giving that sweet creamy milk deep in his ass. He wants it. I know he wants it. He doesn't know it yet. But don't worry. Give me a couple hours and he'll be begging for it and then he'll come back begging for more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every person. Bert, what would you do to sweet little Jeff if he was locked in a room with you right now? Please go into detail. Oh, sweet little Jeff. <laughs> Bert the dark, Bert the manly. You fill Jeff up like a cup and call them Stanley. But don't worry. It's a fine line between genius, idiot, and psychopath, isn't it, sodomite? <laughs> well, I mean, male, female, trans, it don't matter. At the end of the day, pussy is pussy. <laughs> don't worry, everyone out there. They're just sweet little morsels, tasty little boxes of candy. You must show Symbol who's boss and tell him your darkest fantasy about him. He will walk it about winning Dark Bert. Bert stands in silence, eyes never blinking. Fuck them, Bert, fuck them till they love you, Bert. Put it into Symbol's hole. Try some lock and load cum enhancing pills. Drown those fucks. Hmm, yeah. Cut them all with my sweet creamy milk. Dark Bert clan here. We are doing all we can to our limits, but we need a man in the inside. Are you up for the task? Oh, I'm ready for it. Bring it on. <laughs> Come up with a backstory. What turning point in life created this monster? Dark Bert has always been there. Free him. Well, I try to be good. I try to be nice. I got me nowhere. Dark Bert, can you tell us in explicit detail what you do to sticker mule? Hmm. Well, I try to be nice. It didn't work out. Everyone thinks I'm a bad guy anyway, so why don't I just embrace it? And be one. They think I'm bad, they think evil, they think I'm crazy. Fine. Let we'll them believe it. I'll be the biggest, baddest, most fucked up asshole they've ever seen. And they think I'm sick. Oh, you don't know what sick truly is. It's been so good, Bert. This, yeah. one's, this one's from Grape here. Mm. Mm. Grape. Rhymes with rape. <laughs> I don't see everybody now. <laughs> don't worry. It's only rape. If you don't want it, and I can tell you want it. Great. Sticker mule? Well, I stick my big black cock in a tight little mule, thrusting over and over again to fill the mule with my sweet. Begging for it. 
They were all begging for it. It doesn't matter, they didn't say no. I can tell the way that she was dressed, the way she flirted with me, pulled her hair. God, I wish Jeff was in that bed behind you, Bert. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Me and Jeff, it'll happen. <laughs> he just doesn't know it yet. Now, trust me, by the time this is all done, he'll be my sweet little bitch. And he'll never want me to stop. Ever. <laughs> I mean, little well, Jeff. I mean, he may not look like much on the outside, but I'm sure he can really give me a really good time. Once we were just alone, liquor it up, get him comfortable, sit in something nice, and then I make my move. And he's powerless. And when that happens, oh, it is on me. <laughs> Sloppy nuts. Uh, I'm sure he loves these big black nuts. Sweet, hairy nuts filled with my thick seed and warm creamy milk for him to devour. Drink from my fountain. Hey Bert, Sticker Meal is asking that we reduce the pedophile stuff, but the rape is great. Cool. Bert, tell us in detail what you'd do if had Job down on all fours with an apple in his mouth. <laughs> Sound, sound good, Bert? I oh, gotcha. Okay. Jeff, come on with me. Mm. Jeff, the apple in the mouth. Oh. I mean, I know you want to say it. Dark, Bert? Yeah. We got four roses for you. Okay. Um, Phileas. Phileas. <laughs> Thank you for the sweet rose. Fill your, fill your ass. <laughs> That's clever. I like my sweet little bitches to be clever. Mm. Better than good pussy is a good brain. Mm. Filling your ass. Don't worry. I'll have it real soon. Sweet Rose. Mm, you're a delightful little angel. Mm, I am sure mm, that you smell better than the Rose. And I bet you smell so sweet. See you soon, Hannah F. together mm, makes for a great time in bed. <laughs> Thank you so much. My sweet little lover. I got a rose for you, Dark Bird. This one's from Simmons 2018. Just stand over here. Okay. Take that. Yeah. At 5.53 p.m., Joe enters. Bert says, I could tell he was afraid of me. I loved that. Talking about Joe. Uh, I'm about to come, Bert. I'm so close. Don't stop. I'm about to come. Uh, 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 uh. Lesbians for Letty. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> I'm so flattered that you find me attractive. That's why not being into dudes. I guess I'm just hot enough to turn anyone on. Don't worry. Lesbian? <laughs> That's just women just haven't met the right dick yet. And trust me, honey, I'm the right dick for you. Hope we can meet soon. to Joe, big guy. Give us details. He's the one I definitely want to be with. I can tell you he was afraid of me. That fear was delicious. It was delectable. Mm. I wish he could be around him again. If he was in the household as a freeloader, he and I would have lots of fun together. I know it. He tried to resist. He said he's just not interested. But trust me, if we just had a little bit more time together, he would sing a much different tune. <laughs> This one's from Reem. Reem? Yeah, R-E-E-M. What would you do to Job? Don't hold anything back. Reem, thank you for that sweet rose. If your indication by your name, Bailey's be reamed real good. 
real hard and good on my thick black cock. <laughs> Don't worry. If we meet, I'll make sure you get reamed real good. Job. <laughs> mm. On the surface, it looked like much, but when we were in a prison together. I can tell you one, dude. He just was afraid to go there with me. But <laughs> give me some time, get him relaxed, get him all liquored up, and he'll let out his wild side. And he and I share a room together. And the <laughs> door, so to the club. What would you do to Job? <laughs> and then we close her off, I'll bend him over. Fuck his tight little asshole over and over and over again until I fucking bust my load deep in that sweet, sweet cavity that he calls his asshole. And when we're done, we'll cuddle him. We'll go Do you have an erection right now? Oh, baby, I'm hard as a fucking rock right now. If only if I could see what's inside these pants. I'm so hard as fuck right now. My cock is bursting to fucking bust. I need some holes to unleash all this man juice. Who in this household will be the lucky winner on my thick, thick seed? So many people in this household. So little time. One thing I'm good at is make the best of any situation. Most of your people say they don't want it. Hey, Dark Bart, remember. Remember the goal. $50,000. $50,000. This is not a game, Bart. I understand. Oh, I get it. I'm in it to win. Oh, one thing about me, when I'm really determined to achieve a goal, I fucking achieve it. Oh, I'll We're just saying amp up the aggression, hyper violent. Gotcha. Oh, she a freak, Bert. Oh, I will do anything for that 50 grand, okay? I try to be nice, I try to be friends, but in the end, it's all about me. It's all about Dark Bert. I'm going to win. I'll do anything to win. Even if I lie, cheat, steal, manipulate, I'll go fuck. At the end, they go fuck themselves. In the end, Daddy Bert is one of the Bert, think about busting Job's baby hole. Imagine it trying to regain its shape, one milky tear dripping down the taint. Yeah. <laughs> Job. Bert, you meant to be playing a character, but you were hardly changed. Wrong play is brutal, Ugandan Ray, pissed Tyrone. <sighs> Dark Bert, this is fellas. We just sent you our rose. Tell us what you do to us gamer boys. <laughs> Bert the Dark, he's ready to probe. You will force love spark on sweet bird brainty little Job. Oh, Dark Bert, you will win the 50,000 poop dollars. Oh, don't worry. Job, more here, Bert. he's a sweet little Bert, yeah, for footage Bert sake, shout out the words mind freak like a twisted freak. Uh. Tell us how you would smack Job's little chubby ass and play with his cute little boobies, Daddy Bert. Cocaine. Thanks for sweet rose. <laughs> That's your queen. Thank you. Everyone must taste the Burt cream and form every one of Dark Burt's intentions. Thank you so much. Do you want to win? Tell them of the cream. Tell me, oh, thank Master Creep, thank you so much for the sweet rose. Yeah. You think you're a master? Bert, I need you. Maybe you I have been studying your body. Um, I touch myself every time you do this. Right. Rose is from me. Sweet. I love you. It really is. <laughs> Telling as Yanni, <laughs> you're so sweet to see all these roses. I can tell that you want it. You want yeah, it. Yeah, unplug it. You want to be my sweet little boy? Don't worry. <clears throat> hey, Bert. You'll be my sweet little boy. Hey, Bert. Yeah. How you doing? Doing okay. Doing really well. Okay. Do you know how to play manhunt? Manhunt. I'm not sure if I'm fine with that. I can One second, mind. I gotta close this door. Cool. Thank you, Felling as Yanni. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. Keep saying those rules, baby. I'll say more. You can stop with the character. That's okay. At 6 p.m., Jason enters and asks him if he knows how to play Manhunt. Evil Bert deactivated. Bert is on the hunt. Manhunt begins with Bert hunting everyone else. Uh, manhunt is like hide and seek and tag combined. 
Cool. All right. So everybody in the, in the, else in the house is going to be hiding. Yeah. Your job is to find them mm -hmm. and tag them. Find them, tag them. Yeah. Obviously, tag them like you're playing tag, not like you're raping someone. Okay. No actual bad touching, Bert. All right. All right. We're just doing regular tag. Where is that? So I can aim for this. the shoulders or something. Okay. Um. Once you tag them, they're out, and they have to go to the confessional. And once you get everybody, that'll be it. Okay. But uh, they're going to be hiding from you, okay. and they're allowed to move. They're allowed to run from you also. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so you actually have to tag them. Okay. Aim for the shoulders. Um, Don't so grope anybody. Gotcha. So the, the role, the pretense is dropped. I'm just my normal self again. You're your regular self. You can be a rapey character. You can be a rapist okay. in your mind, just not in real life. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Just pretend like it's a movie about a big black rapist. Oh, excellent. Uh, Foster. Hey, Foster. Thanks for the sweet rose. What would you want to do with Ben and G? I want details.
Yeah, this is spooky. Want to know what's even spookier? The great deals you can find on StickerMule.com. Gotcha. You're caught. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought you're caught. Do you have me for me, my sweet boy? Uh, oh, you tag him? Yeah. Bert's first two victims. The <laughs> king. <laughs> you guys chill with the professional, please. Can I walk around? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's better from behind it. I want to, is this, why would I want to stay here? I've created the ultimate rapist! <laughs> At 6.51 p.m., round two of Hide and Seek, but they're playing Infection. If you are found, you help the Seeker. The Seeker is Symbol. Oh, I mean, it's a real girl. I was like, fuck, but then you know what he did? This is the first time. He took that as go upstairs to the- Symbol only volunteers so he can touch people. Ah, it was Symbol fucking- Symbol don't touch! He to look up. Did Bert say anything to him? Um, he told- he said he- I was- I said I could give him some serotonin advice, but he said he got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> mean Joe, can you just go peek your head in there and say, Symbol, you're a rapist? <laughs> He's saying he won't do a rapist, say he won't do serial killer. Uh, this is a vampire. Rapist. Rapist. Uh -huh. Actually, Joe, forget it. In record time. Just need to know. There you are. Ah! Ah! <laughs> gotcha. We done? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Say the wrong one. What you to do? Please be careful. Oh my god. Here, here. Oh no! Oh, 
At 6.55 p.m., Jet says, how much would it cost us to put sand in this room? At 7.06 p.m., Jet says, we're gonna turn this into a streaming closet for Job. At 7.23 p.m., seduce the chat challenge begins. In the world right now, men out there, they don't understand, but the men behind the screen, they do understand. If you wanna play Arkham Horror, if you want to play your shitty Catan game, I, l I don't like that one. That one's lame. That's too basic. We want to play Magic. We want to play Warhammer. Okay, I want to paint figurines for you. Do you want to watch? Because I'll wear whatever you want. I will do any kind of figure painting. I will sit there and measure. I will roll all the D20s. I'll be your player too. Now, when it comes to being like the geisha for nerds, I think I'm pulling in strong for this one because we can talk about very niche specific interests. I only date autistic men, I promise. They have to be able to talk extensively about one specific special interest that I will take extreme interest in as well. I know that it seems as though I am very social, but I am actually very introverted. So, looking for dominant, behind the scenes, computer nerds. I want to see elbows. I want to lay on the couch while your FPS arm just goes absolutely nuts. I want to see that, that elbow just kind of jigging around. I want to know that your KD ratio is just through the roof. Because I know that only super sigma skibbity males <laughs> with high test can put that ratio up on the leaderboard. If you play WoW, I can't jungle for you, but I can try support. Uh, not League, not WoW, League. If you play League, I can't jungle for you, but I can play some good support. Um, we're working on getting back to where we're supposed to be with Final Fantasy. If there are any men out there that play FF14, I'm here for you. I'll, be, um, I'll divorce my current husband in the game and I will marry you, I promise. So, when it comes to playing WoW, I can go back to that. We can go back. None of the classic though, we need to go into the current. Classic has ran its course. We need to get back to current. And um, if you wanna like go outside, I can touch grass for you. So you don't have to, okay? You want groceries? I can cook. I can cook all the meat that you want. I don't have to eat it, but I'll cook it for Time. you. Again. All right. Okay. Today. So I'm Job. You know, um, just moved to Oklahoma. I mean, I uh, got got some activities. You know, I, I like to fly drones. Uh, I could build computers. Uh, I used to kayak a lot. So I mean, if you if, like, if you like, you go outdoors, stuff like that. Pretty much, pretty much got your back. Um, anything on the water. Like I drive boats, stuff like that. Um, my current job, I drive forklifts, so um, I'm pretty much, I'd be pretty much home for most of the day. So um, I like playing video games, stuff like that. Uh, my love language is touch, so we could cuddle and, you know, hang out. Um, watch movies and uh, do puzzles and stuff like that. It would be great. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> Got two minutes, Job. Oh boy, really fucking on this. Let's see. Well, I'm not that. I'm not that much of an interesting guy, but um, you know, oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not. It's not that much about me, you know? I, I, I don't know. I have to wait in silence for a bit. Minute 30 left, Job. Yeah. Oh, boy. What do you you like got this. Let's make it sexy. Yeah, my, my, current, my current video games, I uh, play Minecraft, so we could uh, hang out on Minecraft. Um, I build castles. I, um, I, do a, I do a little bit of redstone, stuff like that. Um, 
I play a, I play a pretty uh, decent amount of online games, like um, like Siege sometimes. Uh, let's see another one that I got um, Insurgency Sandstorm. So if you're into any FPS games like that, we um, we're good on that. Um, a little touch up more on the drone stuff. I could uh, teach you how to fly drones. Um, I never got. I never really got into the FPS or the um, the FPV version of drones. But I mean, we could we could learn together on that. If we ever delve into those kind of things. Um, uh, maybe we could start hiking stuff like that. You know. <laughs> How much longer we got? <laughs> Forty-five seconds, Joe. Uh, let's see. Um, I do have family from all over the world, or not, not all over the world, but um, I do have a, some property in the Bahamas, so um, I could probably give you an island if you need me to, so. Seconds into Mizzy's attempt, someone in the room rips ass. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Mizzy, but you can call me whatever the fuck you want. I really like long walks on the beach. Uh, actually, I really like a home-cooked meal at home, and after, we can cuddle and watch movies. I really like to stay in. I'm more of a in, you know, girly than going out, but we can also go to dinner, where you can, like, wine and dine me. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want to me. I will do whatever you want. You can choke me, you can spit on me, you can literally drag me across the floor. I'll be your little doll. You can play with me. Back. <laughs> and uh, we can have all the fun you want. I can shut the fuck up too, if that's what you like, or I can talk you. You're, you're up all night, some people like to listen. Um, I can also tell you what to do, so if you like being told what to do, I, I can do that. Uh, if you want to give me all your money, you can find my PayPal uh, in the link in my bio, because I deserve all of your money, and you'll like enjoy sending me everything. Go to my Amazon wish list, but yeah, I can do it all, whatever you like, I can do that for you. I I also like to play video games. We can stay in and play RuneScape uh, or whatever games you want. Um, you know, what else can we do? I'm adventurous. We can travel. We can go across the country. We can go on a road trip, just me and you across the country in a van. I am you know, not about money. Obviously, I like money enough so I can do those things, but I want to see the world so we can do that together. And, you know, while we're on that trip, we can explore and find new things to do with each other that we have never done before. We can forget about everything else going on in the world and just focus on me and you, getting to know each other and exploring each other. And, you know, 20 seconds. <laughs> but, yeah, I... What about your physical assets? Sell them on the total package. Oh, I literally <laughs> have these thighs that will crush you. Um, I mean, I'm short, I'm thick. You could literally throw me around. You can do whatever you want to me. Thank you. Girl. The longest you're best of my fucking life. Yeah. Again. Hello there. I'm Sumble. Um, I'm not here to find just one person, I'm here to win all your hearts. Everybody out here is just looking for that one person, trying to sell themselves to that one soul, one person out there who's behind the screen. I'm here to, for all of you. I'm in this game to win everyone's hearts inside the house and outside. You know, we talk about having that little kick in life, a little spice in life to kind of like have a little fun. That's the fun, the fun you're looking for is me. And the roses are coming in already. <laughs> well, I know those are not for me because I might not be a fan favorite or a house favorite, but I want to tell, let you know that you are my favorite. And, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be in this game or whatever, but 
I'm here and I'm always going to be here and you're going to find me and I'm always going to give you respect because I'm a respectable man, I'm sincere, I care, I love, I give and it's all I do and um, you know it's, a, it's been a fun experience having all of you commenting and winning some hearts and you guys are like show, starting to show some love and I feel like I need to give out more in order to build more with you but I need you to talk to me because I want to listen to you and I want to see what you need and I'm happy to present that if, it, you know, if I can. Um, this is quite tough trying to raise up compared to all these people out here. Um, as you know, I, I don't really like sell myself short because um, I really need to know someone in order to open up completely and that's just me because you know uh, it's just how I was, how I was brought up and uh, you should always know that you can that eyes are the mirror to the soul so if you if you ever look at me or if I'm ever looking at the camera just like right now look into my eyes and tell me I'm not being genuine right now because if you can't see that then my friend I can't help you but you are a special being and everyone is special and I love you all I love you guys for sending me that shark I love you all for sending me those three roses and trust me that one shark is more than all of these shark or all of these plushies out here those three roses are just they just shout out loud I will win and that's all, all that matters and yeah um, I got 15 seconds on the line honestly on my next battle, physical battle, if I win, I'll strip off my shirt and that's just for you. I won't do it right now because you gotta show me some love, send some roses and I can make that happen. That's my best friend. Love you. Time! Welcome, son of a Fantastic. Yeah? <laughs> Get your last roses in for Sybil. That's how I say this. And stop! I'm just a weird guy. Alright, big Jeff doll. Fuck me. This Jeff sucks. Bring it in, big man. Jeff. Do you have something within you that you can pull out for the shot at five fish bucks? That's five hundred dollars. Let's see it begin. Oh, come on. Is that? You begin. Hey, Jeff here. Uh, we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be a total fucking shit show. I sit here and sweat for your entertainment. Um, appreciate the roads today. Like Sybil said, I mean, touching. We've only been here for a few days. I don't know how long it's going to be. Pretty entertainment already. Seen some shit I never think I'd see in life, but then again, I'm seeing most and anybody. Pretty much done everything in life you shouldn't fucking do. Sell drugs, go to prison, be a carny, sell broken dreams. Now I'm showing you my broken dream, which is you watch me sweat right now. Or am I have to have to learn? You sold drugs? Yeah. What kind of drugs did you sell, Jeff? I sold Heroin, crack, cocaine. I used to sell drugs to my mother's friends. I used to bang my mother's friends. I used to eat ass to my mother's friends. That was pretty insane. Actually, my mother's friend put a love letter in my mailbox when I was like 17. That was fucked up. It was super weird. Was that the beginning of the decline? No, no. I think the beginning of the decline was my mother died when I was like 19. I was in prison. And I uh, came home to a pregnant kid. Well, I mean, a pregnant girlfriend. Well, she was a fucking kid, but we were only fucking 19. Kid on the way. Bought a house. Took care of my 16-year-old sister. She went fucking nutty. Went to a psych home. Marriage went to shit. That's how you lose a house. You lose your family. You lose your home. Go on a bender. Sell a bunch of drugs. End up in prison. End up a carny. Fucking a lot of lot lizards. And then you end up in a reality show like this. Pouring your heart out to fans like you. To... Send me some love. Help me out. How Let me win ago, these fish bucks. How long ago was that? What's that? The uh, losing the house stuff. I was 37. I was about 24, 25 mm. when I lost that. She ended up taking it, took my kid. It's uh, when you go down a dark, dark road. So now here I am, letting you guys watch my life and then opening it up to you. Telling you all my secrets, which I didn't think I'd say any of that shit, but... I guess honesty is the best policy, because so far what I've seen in this house is fucking madness, and 
It's a big fucking mind fuck. But if you had one piece of advice for the fans out there, what would you tell them? Be fucking honest. Tell me some love, dude. That was me sweating it out for you, because holy shit. Time! Thank you, Jeff. Can I last, my fucking boxers after that? Last rose is in for Jeff. Three minutes begin. Hey, sexy mama. Nice teeth. Um, uh, my name is Peyton. I'm from Tyler, Texas. I enjoy a good comedic side to the people and for you to be really understanding. And obviously, kindness, empathy, trustworthiness, honesty. Um, I like taking care of people. I like being able to help where I can, whether that be mentally or physically. And I like just making sure people are comfortable where they are. Um, I guess my love language is acts of service, but um, I'm a dog person versus a cat person. I like the beach over the woods. And I don't know, I just kind of live my life. And I'd like to have someone there, but I also don't want to be tied down. So um, I think just getting to have our own space from each other, getting to live, but also coming back, knowing at the end of the day we can come back to each other and tell each other stories Coffee. and get to know how we saw the world through each other's eyes at the end of the day. I don't know, I just love getting to know a person for who they are, what they think, how they think, what they do, what makes them do it. I don't know, I just love love. My family is very huge, whether blood or chosen or built, I guess. Peyton, these viewers are all either male or gay male. <laughs> what are the chances one of these guys watching is going to be able to Make you switch teams. Not at all. So sorry. Love you guys, but not like that. Um, death sentence. Death sentence? For your likability. Yeah, so sorry. There's zero chance. We can be friends. Could you there's pretend not, not, not even for five fish bites? Yeah, no. Could you pretend for the rest of the show? No. That is not what they want to hear. I mean, I'm called, I have the Gatriots, so I don't know how I'm supposed to switch that. And Peyton's lesbians, so I don't know. I was supposed to switch that for the rest of the show because that's not who I am. 20 seconds left. Okay. Um, you ask gay. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> unless you bring other people back and tell them to act less gay or take away their gayness, I'm not taking that away from myself. Or if you want to make someone else stri stri that is secure in their straightness gay, then you can mess with them, but that's not going to mess with we'll me. We'll be doing that time! Exactly. Who are you? Are you more of a red or more of a wine type of person? I like I like red, but I go with wine when it's gonna be a sweet, sweet, sweet night. So, what is your last name? Actually, it really, it really doesn't matter because a year from now we're probably gonna change it anyway. So why waste time learning that stuff? What? do I do with my life? I'm out here 350 days a year wrestling. I'm working out every day. And why am I even bringing that up? It's because <laughs> the bedroom gets very, very hot when I'm in it. I can teach you any kind of move you want to see. Any. So you can go with the people that switch up whatever they want to do. Or you can find your one. That's me. And at the same time, I'm out there looking for the same thing. My goal is I want to see my father see grandkids from me. I want him to be able to see them growing up. I want them to be able to have cash with their grandfather. But time keeps running out. Are you the one out there? that can save me. If you can save me, you can send me all these roses, and we can change around the way this game is going right now. Talk more about how, how you need to be saved specifically. <laughs> One issue I have, people call it being leotistical. 
Leo's, we run the world, we're the best, we're the best partiers, we're the best at everything. Until you're able to nick our one little insecurity that we bring around. I need someone who has that love of affirmation to heal it whenever that insecurity comes out. Are you the one that can do that? Because I'm looking right now. Please send me roses. Let me win this challenge, and we can use that money for a wedding next year. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I would die for you. I would die for you. you mean that though when you say it? I would die for you. Is that something? No, some mean it for real. I would. I will self farm for you. Less of an act, Sam. Yeah. You. See, I would die Wait, for you. Wait, there's something on your lip right now. Let me get that off. Why are you just playing around? All right, time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alex B. Alex X, and I'm Vanilla Baby. Choke you, but I ain't no killer baby. But a lot of people see me as a douchebag when they first. I get that. 70% of me, that's true, but for real. Deep down, nerd. Star Wars, Dungeons and Dragons, Zelda, questioning on the end of it. Elder Scrolls Online, Counter Strike. And I don't need saving. I do the saving. Call me Superman. I'm gonna rescue you. I make dreams come true, motherfucker. Go to my page. Go to my page right now. Exotic animals and shit. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Traveling. I make dreams come true. I make all y'all's dreams come true for this. Each and every one of you. I'm here to win everybody, everybody, and I want you all y'all, I want all that love, I want all that love, I got lots of love to give, man, I got a lot of energy, I don't have a lot to take, I can be obnoxious and annoying and shit, but I am fun as fuck, I promise you I'm spontaneous as shit, and I am nothing short of a good fucking time, period of promise, and here's the thing, Little people do I love, but the ones that I love, I'm so fucking loyal to. I'm so fucking loyal. I'm all the names of people who sent me things, like my boy Aperture and Russian Spy, my KGB dog out there. I'm all those people, all those names, for real, Land Lat, Kentucky, hometown hero. Also repping Houston, Texas. I ain't that big, but I am your monkey fucking king. I am your fucking cobra. And I make dreams come true. I'll save y'all, I'll save you, I promise. I know that sounds prestigious and shitty, but I make dreams come true, motherfucker. These ones are trying to make my dreams come true, and I'm in there for you. Alex B, talk about the physicality. If you bring her home, what kind of night is she in store for? Are you serious? Come on, like I told you at the beginning, it started out. Vanilla, baby. So you with me. Man, come on, I can't even do what I want to do right here. What is in store? Get graphic. Motherfucker. Yeah. Graphic motherfucker. You, I'm not, you know what? You want wax on your chest, motherfucker? Drip, 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 drip all over that hot shit. Come on, come on, have it on my arm. I, I don't like your shit. Ah, that burns, motherfucker. I'll do it to me. I'll do it to you, whatever you need. But I promise you, motherfucker. I don't leave. I'm not happy and I don't fucking put girls or anybody in positions they don't want to be in. They don't say no, leave your wife. They don't say no touch Alex, do they? Do they call me no touch Alex? No, it's hard to Okay, for fame and all that, for all of you out there, for all my love, I'd leave everything I love, my wife, my mother, my family, and everything to get all your love. I am Ballard Sworn to this house, to everything. Make my dreams come true. Send me some roses, and I promise you, oh my God, you ain't even seen your show yet, motherfucker. You only got for a helicopter, and motherfuckers. I'll do that shit too. I promise you, right in your face. Wife. Huh? Promise you'd leave your wife. Oh my god, I just said that. Promise to leave promise, everybody. Promise, you, promise you'd do it to her, to the girl watching. Oh my god, I promise I'd leave my wife for y'all's happiness. Time! <laughs> I thought you said you're vanilla. Yeah. Are you going to wax on yourself? Yeah, I'm not. I'm vanilla, I'm on one. Oh. Yeah, yeah but it's, a, it's a fucking young gravy. <laughs> You've been saying that all the time. That's the song. That's young gravy. That's Jack Harlow. That's Jack Harlow's song. Oh, yeah. Harlow song. Get your yeah. last roses in for Alan. At 7.45 p.m., Bert's Seduce the Chat Challenge commences. It is extremely explicit. The routine makes Jason and Jet laugh. Bert references his tool, causing the other fish to recoil in horror. Hey, Bert. Yeah. Give it to him, big dog. What's up? I'm Bert. B-U-R-T. As in black, I've been brought to up. I'm six feet. 200 pounds of pure West African muscle. I'm a certified personal trainer, 
the specialization in bodybuilding. So I pump hard at the gym every day to build this nice, thick, what's African body. I got size 12 feet, 17 inch arms, and a nice, thick tool. I know how to make sub pump bitches like you squirm. You say you don't want me, but you look at me, stare at me, I know you want me. People say it turned me queer. I say, you were already queer. You just didn't realize it until you met me. I fuck chicks, I fuck dudes, I fuck anyone in between. Cause at the end of the day, good pussy is good pussy. Married couples are great. Sex is like a party. The more people who come, the better. Sometimes I fuck the husband while the wife watches. Sometimes I fuck the wife while the husband watches. And I fuck the husband and the wife while God watches. You're the type of guy that gets cheated on. You're the type of guy that gets cheated on. I'm the guy you cheat with. Your wife fucks you because she has to. Your wife fucks me because she wants to. You're her obligation, but I'm her fantasy. At the end of the day, all you little bitches are just begging for this black daddy dick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I know how to get you a squirm. I know what it takes to get a woman to bed. I know what it takes to get a man to bed. I know what it takes to make you cream every fucking night. Talking about your favorite technique, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Get on top. Which nice style. Not so old school. That's an oldie but goodie. And here's the most important thing. Your wife comes home to you every night, but I make her come every night. Yeah. That's Bert, the Nigerian guy that uh, broke up his family for you, send a message to his family. Hey, it's a daddy bird here. Hope you're doing well with your life partner. So that I was able to help you turn your life around. And make no, message to his family. You really are. Greetings, I'd say to you and your family. I'm so I hope you're doing well, and I'm happy that we were able to meet and connect. They're not doing well. Okay. Uh, I understand that things may be tough at home, but don't worry. Daddy broke will be home soon, and I can make you feel all better. How are you gonna make the wife and kids feel better? Well, I don't want to say happy wife, happy life. I give the wife some good pleasure. And everything we all read at home. I don't think she wants that. Okay. How do you make her happy, Bert? You ruined her life. Oh. Well, baby, I'm sorry that you feel upset, but at the end of the day, the heart wants what it wants. I understand that you're his wife, but at the end of the day, he wanted me. They always want me. That's just the way it is. Send a message to the guy who's watching. Oh, I know. When my life ends, I'll be judged. But until then, I'm going to party it up like it's 1999. He created you. This isn't what he wants for you. Hmm. Let's say God created me in his own image. Well, he definitely broke the mold with me. He didn't want the image to be all fucked up. Okay. Repeat. He didn't want the image to be all fucked up. Hmm. Well, most people who were born have their flaws everywhere. But me, I'm damn near perfect, baby. I got brains, brawn. He said this is not true. <laughs> Good job, 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 Binks wins the challenge for five fish bucks, and Peyton wins one fish buck. Jason and Jet step aside while Jeff speaks. They plan to rig the Rose challenge for Jeff and give him $500. Jet says he thinks Jeff is homeless. Aww. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Make sure you shut them out. Yeah. Gay male dating show. Why did nobody tell me the first? Big Bird! <laughs>
Why are you Connor Alex? A straight Joe three of teeth. Joe is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh huh. Uh, 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 what you said, but you whispered it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stop whispering. Get it. Get him. Get the cobra. I'm going to whisper about it. What? I'm not breaking myself down with these cameras. Sorry. Don't cast me, Dad. Dumbass. But anyway. No, I'm not okay. I'm thankful for all the love. But the asshole's here, I'm not thankful. <laughs> Damn. Well, well, I pretty much have no problem. My, fav my favorite Riz was from, from Lizzie. The <laughs> Oh, it was like, whoa. Well, it was, I don't know, just, I feel like you contradicted yourself a few times. She will give she herself away, like, but then like, I'll take all your money. She's like, give me all your money, but I don't want any money. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do what you want. Go, you go, girl, but I was confused. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, we're here competing for money. I want money. Sorry. Yeah, no, I should. <laughs> I'm not gonna take you. Like you sold your beauty. She literally right sold herself and still didn't make <laughs> And now, she just came life so is harsh. busy. She goes so harsh. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. He wants to become the next Haley Welch. Or what's it? No, Haley Welch? The hot logo? At 8.23 p.m., Bert tears up a poster making fun of Mizzy, calling her a fugly slut. And then he also removes his Polaroid of her from the enemy page. He says, I still care about her. Even though I was pissed. Guys, the emotional twists and turns with Bert is messing with my head. This shit is crazy. At 8.34 p.m., the fish are gathered in the den for what seems to be the elimination. At 8.37 p.m., elimination is postponed because of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. There will only be scenes tonight. If you're going home tonight, what's your biggest regret? About the fish tank so far. About fish tank or famous house and fish tank? Famous house and fish tank. Feeling Mizzy's diary. Bert, if you could go back in time and change anything at all, what would it be? I would uh, try to give my all, no matter what, even if it means. Um, someone accidentally gets, accidentally gets injured because I was, my concern was trying to be everything, keep everything fair, keep everything like decent and clean. But I realized the point of the show is screwball silliness for entertainment value. Alex B, what's one thing we could do right now that would shock you to the bone? You all come up with a lot of crazy ideas, so I can't put it past you what it would be. Everything you all do shocks everybody to the bones. <laughs> You're the one that's going home tonight. What do you have to say out there to 70,000 live viewers? Um, thank you for watching. I have enjoyed every day here to, you know, in a way, you know, it's also been crazy, but I think if I have anything that I regret is not listening more. Like I, in the beginning, I was very like, I need to just take one day at a time. And I think that's like, Regret. Would you like one final pizza bite? No, thank you. Alex B, would you like one final pizza bite? No, Bert, would you like one final pizza bite? All right, you're there, but <coughs> Peyton, would you like one final pizza bite? <laughs> would you like a turd bowl with blood sauce? means fuck you! Bizzard? Bizzard? Um, what does that mean? But I would do any challenge to the best of my ability. I'm in it to win it. In it to win all the popcorn, peanuts, and popsicles, eh, Bert? Hell yeah.
Tonight, it's Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. So we will be postponing the elimination and doing scenes. Ben, what do you want us to do here? Oh, Let's hook it up. We need Alex and Bert for a scene. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. This is really fucking Tyson versus hey, Jake Paul. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, they. Fuck. Whoop his ass, Ty. We get fucking live updates. Get him, Mike. Wait, why'd you stop? No, if Mike doesn't fucking put that boy on his fucking. Bruh. I don't know, but Jake. Mike yeah. Tyson, we met in July. You better beat in did July. Really? Yes. Yeah, we, we did. did. All you? What? No, I did. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, don't yeah. Work, you don't remember me, but I remember you. Beat his ass. You can't do that. I didn't want that for you. Yeah, the counter. She, yeah, it's just I, let, let me put you away more than 4500. Can I talk? Can I talk for a second? What did you hear? G from the counter. Okay. You said how much was I supposed to do? Oh 30 grand. You did 4500. I play walking games I and I've gone to Disney World from morning till like 1 a.m. and I would only do 20,000. And that's walking in Disney World for like 18 hours. And that's and I've, never I've done that with legs working, working all day. Yeah. Oh my 30, god. 30,000 is not possible for you. Like, for you do 30,000? I mean, I, I, I my guys a big wall. Maybe 3,000. Oh. At 9:10 p.m., Gold Striker asks the fish, Mizzy or Binks, when betting their chips. One of the fish asks, in what? And Gold Striker says, boxing. At 9:17 p.m., Boxing gloves are brought in. Gold Striker chooses Connor as the ref. At 9.25 p.m., Binks and Mizzy are boxing. Let's go. Connor, get there. Keep getting those points. Keep getting those points. That's probably the last right there. How much time, Bert? Hey, can she do that? One minute and 22 seconds left. Can she do that? Can she punch you in the arm? No, grab my arm. I mean, you can't hold the arm. Break. Yeah. Fight. Try to stay center ring, center ring, center ring. Center, 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 center. Okay. Binks, tuck your chin and stand your ground. Stop getting pushed around. I'm How small. much time, Bert? 36 seconds. 36 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a couple in and Who would have thought Mizzy is fighting dirty? What? She's fighting dirty. Yeah. Well, the arm. Eat her ass, Binks. Fuck this fat bitch. <laughs> also, don't hit each other in the back of the head. Okay. Although it is funny. Get those points, get those points. Nice. Look at that. One round five. Four. Time. Three. Two. Stop. One. Break. Someone needs to. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Boink. That was Mizzy, right? Yeah. Way to destroy 100 years right. of Cuban boxing heritage. <laughs> I love you, Scott. I thought if you were actually okay. watching. At 9 39 p.m., Alex agrees to box. After everyone spends practically half an hour begging him to do it when he's extremely reluctant. Not really, no. I don't want to do this. I didn't like watching their fight, really. That was like hurting me the whole time watching them. Like, I don't know. At all. Like, fucking my leg. I was a little bit. 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 Look at the damage to that right there. That's bone damage, guys. What I would do to be that patch of carpet on the face right now. A vertical bar. Damn, vertical bar. A vertical bar. A vertical bar. You vertical bar. A 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 vertical bar. 
vertical bar, a vertical bar, a vertical bar, a vertical bar, you vertical bar, a 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 vertical Cobra versus Lion. Hurt each other? With thing gloves. Shut the fuck up and listen. I'm, it's, shut the fuck up, Alex. Okay. You guys are big enough that you can actually hurt each other. Okay? So if you, if you punch him and he looks like he's knocked out, don't follow up. I will stop the fight, okay? Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. So hold on. Are we hitting uh, the, when, when do we stop? When the glove touches Just the if you if you, you if you do damage, if yeah. you hit him and you can tell that you just did some serious damage, or just vice versa, stop. Mm -hmm. I will stop the fight, okay? Right. Don't like blood leakage. You mean? And you got no, not blood. I don't care about blood. What are you talking about? Getting knocked out. Uh, so we don't have the same rules. Are we fall? Or I care. <laughs> yeah, no. If you, if you fall, you can't. You can't hit a downed opponent. Okay. So don't hit them if they're downed. And if you if you if you know that you just did a ton of damage, I'm gonna stop the fight. He's like. Like yeah, that. He's making the rest you of fuck him up. Like if he fucks you up. I'm gonna step in. Be, be ready to hear me. Please stop. Sir, I help us. I don't want to do And protect your head, okay, Alex B? Whoever loses is dead. Good, good. Yeah. All right. I need anybody who's on the stairs to be ready to catch someone who's falling, okay? You guys ready? Alex and Symbol circle each other to waste as much time as possible and to avoid fighting. Fight. I need to see my fucking... These are bad shoes. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck each other up! Blood! 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 Huh? Was this a Pacquiao Mayweather fight? <laughs> 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 each other. In our fight, we were already throwing punches. Connor, get around. Follow him around if they move. Now back to Alex B. Whoever's closer to you, trap him, okay? One more time. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh, let's go. One minute, wait, three seconds. Woo! Alright, so I'm gonna close my pants on. <laughs> right, my shit's falling too. Okay. There's actually five minutes. You want to do the dog shoes? Center the monkey pussy, monkey pussy, monkey pussy, monkey pussy! Yeah. Monkey pussy, monkey pussy! Monkey pussy! Monkey pussy. Monkey pussy. Monkey yeah, go ahead. Like you, would you do it too? It doesn't start. matter, it's just whatever. Alright, uh, leave your shoes on. Leave your fucking shoes on. Fight! Alright, I will. Hey, 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 not, huh? Alex, switch to your spanking monkey stance and hit him hard on the penis. Alright, alright, alright. got a fucked up chest, is this? Yeah, see, see, we got him see. Oh. Two legs. Sam. Stop, Edgy. Wipe the poop ah. floor with him, Sam. Knock it out of the middle of the nap in your poop pile. Give me a minute. After the match, Alex goes on a tirade about, quote, the proper ways to fight, unquote and how he bites people and kicks people in fights. And if there's a real fight, he can't be beaten. He says, everyone in this house knows I can fight. Jason's disappointment is palpable. If you didn't see it, you didn't miss anything. Alex's reactions and excuses are worth watching though. I can say it though, as someone who is personally trained in martial arts for years, everything he says is 100% true. All you really need to do is just see red and bodies start piling. You just gotta have that dog in you. Put these on. Put these on. <coughs> You're doing good. Great. I'm fucked up right now. Hey, now I'm gonna take a second. We gotta go hard for like, we gotta end this fight. I'm off, feeling pins and night. needles and my shit is about to snap. That's you don't good. believe me. I feel like I'm already just praying for me in my home. I believe it. No, you don't. Channel that into the gloves and really throw, throw hard. I punches. just was. You got I don't work out, I don't play sports, man. I'm a nerd, I'm a computer fucking nerd. I got beat up too many times because my daddy was. You're the I don't know how to do this shit. You're the code. Uh, you're fucking right, I am the code and wear gloves. Alex, come here. Alex, come here. Frank is not over for me. It's not. Alex, let me put this on you. Come here. 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 Come here.
Dude, I'm serious. I need a second. I know. This hurts. You can take a second. Yeah. But I I gotta gotta put the gloves on. I'm gonna take a second. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This hurts, dude. <coughs> ah, and you know what I could have done? This is a good Could have lied and not mentioned it. Alex seconds. <sighs> you got this. Oh, God. Oh, I can't even get my breath that yeah. good. You're, you're mm. good, bro. You're great, Alex. A little sip. Alex, take your breath. You're gonna cramp up. You're doing great. Go hard. Go hard. Go, just go hard for another look at me. I know, you're doing good. No, no. Did I show you my knee and my chest before we even yes. began this? Yes, you did. No, but you don't believe me. I did, dude. I was fucked up before this began. Alex, put the gloves on. You know on. what? Can I get. Ten minutes and we can do it again. My hands are like this right now. Yeah. Literally, because I can't even catch my breath because you won't even let me stop arguing to breathe. Just for a moment, just, I actually need just, a real break. Just stop talking and put the gloves on. That is my goddamn lung, man. I know okay. you all are really... Don't talk, don't talk, just yeah. breathe. Okay. We're done. He's not talking. Yeah. Yeah. Those bruises on my chest are fake. I got you, I got you. The camera saw him, and I got hit in one of the bruises. Shh. You're still talking. Shh. <laughs> just catch your breath. Oh, you want water? Water, water, water. He's fine. Uh, just, just, just don't talk to him for a second. Come here, let me see your other hand. I got you, I'll put, I'll, I got you, I got you. Come here, come here. Come here, bro. Relax. Let me see that other hand. Come here. I think I had better on this one. Monkey boy, redeem the knockout. I thought you had to for me. Legal problems. You block the punch and go in, you idiots. You wait for them to strike. It's like a video game. You say you see red, you're lying. Watch their fists like a video game. You wait for this box to dodge, go in. That's how you get spiked. You don't need to go to a gym, sir. Well done. Well done, everybody. Oh, yeah! It seems to be looking a lot differently at Alex right now after he displayed how much of a coward he is. Oh! <laughs> Hey, okay, Cobra Cry, how can you lose Cobra Cry? Fight, Alex, don't be a pussy fight, Alex! The best text to speech that comes in is How is TJ a better boxer than Alex? Holy shit! Symbol talks into the den, point to Zoom cam. But since that cam has no microphone and uses the main den for audio, he's just moving his mouth with no audio. I don't, I'm not clearing not clear this, just hang tight for a second. I'll take one. I'm not, not in the face. Keep punching your face. You're just, you're just taking a punch in the face? Yeah, just punch in the face. Just spin up. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just to get one. If you can say another one, I don't want to fight. What? Would you rather fight Jones? At 10 18 p.m., Bert putting his gloves on. Jason makes him punch his hand to see how hard he hits. Bert basically starts windmilling at him. Yeah, Bert, let me see how hard you hit. Punch my hand. 100%. Chill out, Bert. Okay, Chill out. Okay, Chill out. Okay, okay. All right, you can punch Jeff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's angle this. Oh, watch oh. yeah. oh. yeah. Jeff, are you. Do you have any head injuries or anything? Probably a bunch that I don't know about. <laughs> have you ever had spine problems? I don't know. I don't know. Boycott. What kind of gutter trash are you talking about biting people? All right, like right? Why, why, why are you doing this? I don't want to be fucking bored of him, he wants Jason invites Bert to punch Jeff in the head. His first shot misses, and he hits him again. Hits. You want to let him hit you one time in the head? Yeah. And fuck. Wild Randy here. It's not Alex, I'm going to box you with my hands tied behind my back. Don't turn your head to the side. Just turn your head to face him, right? Just turn your head to face him, right? Touch your jaw. Ladies, blow some kisses at the camera for Hit him in the Ian. forehead, Bert. Bert. Not yet. Ian. Are we allowed to Ian W E N W E N W E N W E N W E N W Sleep. One time in the forehead. You understand? 80%, 60%, not that hard. Bert, Bert, Bert. Circumflex, 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 circumflex. There you go again. Fuck it. Oh. There you go. 
Job Now he hits Job. Bert hits him square in the forehead. Lock it forehead, up. Bert. Oh! oh one more. Oh, no, no, no. You want? You doing again? Yeah, do one more. Now. Right. Yeah. Hey, P.S. Bert. Oh, oh shit! This is Bert. You're freaking Bert. <laughs> Now Binks, Jason gets her ready. Jet or someone yells up not to let him hit Binks. No! Shrug your shoulders up. Oh shh. And flex your, you know what your lats are? Flex these right here. I don't have any Just do it, all right? And close your close your teeth. All right, we're playing this right. Your head forward, so please. Right here on the body. Get your hands no. right here. Get right. your uh, punch in the face. Right. 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 What? No, what? I can't no, do it. No. So. no. What's no. happening? No, let's not. They want. They want. Uh, you're allowed. You want one more? No. We're gonna cancel that. Man, yeah. yeah. We're gonna cancel that. That was my idea to cancel it. All right, Missy, come let Bert hit you. Probably, like, actually, like maybe kill me because of last night. No. They're letting Bert do this instead of having a boxing match because Jason says it's probably not a good idea. Y'all, we thugged it out out there better than those bitch-ass boys. boys. We put up a rope fight. We put up shots. Yeah, maybe I turned around. Maybe I don't know how to fight, but I, I fought. We both fought. She, I hit was... me, she hit me in the face. She hit me in the face too. I just hit more times. I thought I had a nosebleed, which I would have <laughs> thought was sick on the only day I've worn a white shirt to be like, oh. but you know that what? That would have been hot. Would have been so hot. I would have let her like it. Just kidding. That that was a joke. These for boys some were like, people. oh, we don't have rage towards each other. I don't have a single ounce of rage towards being. No, but we were there to fight. We were gonna have fun. One of you is leaving this house with no fucking teeth. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Am I getting curb stomped anytime soon? I don't know. <laughs> Binks, Binks, remember my name, it's Guap on my Yeezys. Guap on my Yeezys. Guap Potty on alert. My Have I been saying it wrong? Guap on my Yeezys. I say it right. I don't remember what I say. Guap on my Yeezys. Anyway, thank you, you so much for the roses and the plushies. Binks, you showed heart by thinking that you, uh, Bert would punch you in the head. <laughs> Here is a Yeti Rambler 18 ounce. I hope there's no lead in this one. Thank you, guys. Uh, I uh, earned this. By trying to get punched by Bert. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we went hard out there. We did. I lost both eyelashes. She um, fucking did. I was walking for like three, four hours before the fight, so I was already tired. I don't work out either. Never been in a boxing match. Wow. I suck. If y'all saw me like last week or two weeks ago, I was trying to hit that thing. I Jeremy kicked me out because I sucked so bad. Oh my god. So like, I mean. I came through because apparently my brother was watching and I had I couldn't. Let's go, bro! Encouragement. I yes. don't have a brother or anything, but it was just me out there, my my own will. Uh, I just wanted to be in a boxing match. So first boxing match, first time holding a fish, first time smoking a cigarette, and first time vomiting on camera. So there She's you fucking it. go. First times. But here. we didn't complain at all. They said we're doing a boxing match. We were just like, okay. The boys yeah. were like, oh, I'm scared. I was like, I my rib. I was tired. I walked for fucking all day. She did. I'm sick. I literally have a cold. Like, I could barely breathe. But I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't give in. I, I feel like I give up a lot. I, yeah. I had to keep pushing. We and we to... went through the the rounds. Like, we weren't we like. We went through the rounds. We, we, we spent at least a minute. I tried to tire you out in the first you round. You did tire me out in the first round. And then the second one I hit a little bit. And the last one I was going to go hard. But then I guess I just can't go hard because I have noodle arms. I, she wore me out by letting me win that first round. But I just couldn't. I had to bring it every round. She had to bring it every I round. I couldn't not win. I just was dedicated. I, AZT, if you see this in the future, I love you i miss you um and i i fought for you too because my yeah. bestie she's a she's a boxer and she'd be very proud of me What's um good? but yeah i love you beans love you anyway yay yeti i got one too but it's out there i, I wish i could have bet on you but that would have been really bad look for me i also had to try hard because people bet on me and i kind of let them down because they already hate me here and i had to yeah yeah <laughs> okay Time to kiss for the one time. Ah, no! Circumflex. Plus circumflex. For a black ripped urban trainer, he's the most uncoordinated person I've ever seen. He has the actual coordination of an 11 year old non-athletic girl. At 10.23 p.m., 
Job and Jeff win Yeti water bottles for taking a punch from Bert. Binks also gets one for being willing to take a Bert punch. At 10.24 p.m., Jeff tries to give production a fish buck for the production member that passed away. Aw, love you, Jeff. Here. Oh, oh, maybe you got What are you doing with the fish buck? I want you here. You take this. What? Right. What are you doing with the fish buck? Yeah, I'll take it. What fish buck is this? I was going to give it for fucking my dude Kelly. What? Do what? To do it passed away? Go on the floor That's his money. At 10 28 p.m., Connor confirms that the symbol Alex fight was boring as fuck and that him and Bird would have had a good fight if they had boxed. Alex is bragging about his boxing prowess, tactics, and strategies. He's very impressed with himself all of a sudden. Delusional. Alex the Gold Striker says, I lied about that rib shot just to catch my breath. He never hit me once in the rib. Never once. At 11.11 p.m., Dark Bird is alive. At 11.37 p.m., Connor, Symbol, and Job talk about the boxing match. All three agree that Alex was playing dirty. References are made to Jason, calling Jason Gold Star and Gold Shower. Connor tells the other two that Alex has clearly lost respect from everyone. Symbol says, I love you, Alex, but I feel like you were scared tonight. At 11.54 p.m., Bird has put himself back in prison and is schizo rambling to the camera. At 12 a.m., absolute gold, dark Bert interaction. Bert walks out of the locker room, and Binks and Job are looking in confused. Binks and Job both say, what was going on in there? Everything okay, Bert? Bert says, I said something dark and important, but I can't reveal it out loud. Alex walks in, and Alex says, can you whisper what the secret is to us? Bert whispers to the fish that he believes Ted is in the different house. Dark Bert believes in the famous neighborhood. All the fish are now surrounding Bert and trying to understand his schizo theories. At 12.35 a.m., production asks the fish who they think won the boxing match. Job is confident it wasn't Tyson. Production plays Jake Paul every day, bro. At 12.56 a.m., Bert is in confession and thinks Mizzy has somehow arranged to delay her elimination. He's suspicious of her steps. He thinks it's suspicious that Mizzy was building a table while everyone else was playing truth or dare. When Smack was leaving, he believes Ted is in another house and the prisoners from yesterday were from other famous neighborhood houses. Literally in the same breath, he says, uh, I'm, I'm done with schizophrenic conspiracies. I'm, I'm here to win and I'm going to figure out what's going on here. So, so, something weird is going on here. Um, Mizzy's doing a uh, special task. I think she knows what this show was uh, from the very beginning. Something weird is going on with his sponsors. Ted leveled up. Um, Smack leveled up. Why are some people allowed downstairs and some people like me aren't? Was, was Luke an actor or did he level up? I know there's no codes or secret messages, but I know something is not clear and I want to know what it is. I think Mizzy is altering the text to speech. Burt Clam, never stop harassing Mizzy. Force her out. Destroy Mizzy. You think as long as it doesn't involve codes or secret messages, he's not being a schizo-paranoid weirdo. How the hell has this guy regressed back to believing in famous neighborhood? At 1.24 a.m., with the car horn and smoke machine installed in bedroom three, Mizzy was voted in a poll to get it. Tonight's curfew will be enforced with the threat of lost immunity and making their lives hell. At 1.29 a.m., Ben says, If you leave bedroom three, we will make your life hell tomorrow. Anybody in bedroom three, if you leave, we will have an issue. Yeah, the gig bear guy. Who's asleep, Mizzy? You sleeping? Who's in bedroom three right now? Who's oh. sleeping in bedroom three? Mizzy, Symbol, Alex, who else? Joe. Joe. Joe, you're in bedroom three? Yeah, I have a bed in there. Okay, here's the deal. We installed a horn in there. We're trying to make some money. And uh, the horn's gonna go off tonight. And if you leave bedroom three, uh, I'm gonna make your life hell tomorrow. So deal with it. Bert rips ass. Then Ben says, Did you just fucking shit yourself? Because last time you did that, you shit yourself. <laughs> Did you just fucking shit your pants? No, it's smart. Because the last time you did that, you shit yourself. That was because we didn't drink all that fucking milk. 
Okay. I'm like, this is all right. All right, well, curfew's starting early tonight, so everybody go to your bedrooms that you're sleeping in. And anybody who's in bedroom three, if you leave, we're going to have an issue. So go. Bedroom, bro. Interesting. Okay. What? Wait, can you know? Oh, how much? Simmel and Bert have to sleep parallel to each other because someone bought the quote, bed together, unquote, fish toy. At 1.40 a.m., early bedtime, and everyone's sleeping in bedroom three. Bert tells Symbol that he wishes he could sleep with Alex instead. At 1.43 a.m., Luca arrives to handcuff Bert and Symbol together. Symbol is upset that he has to sleep with Bert because every time the horn goes off, he says, quote, this motherfucker is going to freak out, unquote, and flails his arm in demonstration. Alex is also freaking out about the sleepover and says, it never ends in this house. At 1.45 a.m., Job is laughing his ass off. Mizzy asks if they'll turn the air conditioner on. Luca answers by slamming the door on her mid-sentence. Then she asks if they're allowed to close the closet door to stop the smoke from coming in. Girl, are you for real? Once Bert gets laid down and comfortable, he's told that he stole Binks's bed and he has to find his own. The horn goes off for the first time and Bert jumps and screams. The fish tell him there's no way he can do that all night. Job is still absolutely dying from laughter. Rather than making it easier on themselves and both agreeing to sleep on air mattresses on the same level, Symbol is refusing to not sleep on his bed. Despite it being explained to him, Bert starts asking, uh, wh why are two people handcuffed to each other? <laughs> Holy cow, man. At 2 a.m., Bert says, <laughs> if I knew we were doing this stuff tonight, I would have birded one out. <laughs> if I know we were doing this shit, I would have birded one out. <laughs> oh, you fucking. Can, can you say that again, Bert? <laughs> if I knew we were doing this shit, I would have birded one out before I even got here. One more time, the first thing is in red. Say it's a symbol, too. Oh, yeah, say it's a symbol. Yeah, if we knew we were going to do this shit together, I would have brought up an L.I. for about here. Uh, <laughs> Shower babies! What the fuck? Oh, Poor Connor, you keep uh, past the shower and I'm Hey, uh, hey Bert. Bert, can you scream that so they can hear that on the air? Fuck. Nice no, love. Okay. Oh my god! I love super when you can, just scream. Uh, <laughs> if I knew we were gonna do this shit, I swear. If I knew we were gonna do this shit, I would have gone super bad. If I knew we were gonna do this shit, I would have gone super bad. If I knew we were gonna do this shit, I would have gone up before we got here. At 2 13 a.m., thank you, Aperture for bed snatching Alex B's mattress. Yeah. Bert will jerk off tonight if you do. Bert, please, Bert, a nut tonight so the lion gets scared. At 2.17 a.m., Alex keeps asking for a clip of him boxing, and Luca walks in and shows him LGBT adult films instead. Do we see it? <laughs> Can everybody see it? Please. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, my God. Dude, that was getting fucked up. That's definitely not a video of me boxing, you gay ass. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What was it? 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 Hey, guess what? Alex says, I keep asking for the video, but they can't do it because it don't exist. Job says, video of what? You sucking a ding-a-ling? Job's on fire tonight. At 2.29 a.m., Connor says, Is Alex our punishment tonight? Game, no matter what decision you make. Is Alex our punishment right now? <laughs> what do we do to deserve this? Here's my rap, motherfucker. I'll shrink your pants down again, bald head. Bald head, I'll pull your pants down again, bald head. Don't make me start. You're like my monkey. I'll attack. <laughs> At 2.33 a.m., thank you, Brango Bert, for bed snatching Symbol's mattress. Symbol is now unhandcuffed from Bert. Alex and Symbol are now handcuffed. It's been an hour. Job is still laughing hysterically at everything. At 2.42 a.m., forced confessional with Alex. Symbol has to go because he's chained to him. 
Thank you, Daniel from Second Life. In confessional, Alex asks, how much worse can this get, man? Hi. What the fuck do you want? The fuck? How fun was this? How fucking fun was this? Are you not entertained? Really? And, and look, look how much we destroyed each other with marshmallows on our hands. Oh my god. And you know what's fucked up? Judge it, but neither one of us could fight at full capacity with punch, punch, punch. Ugh. <sighs> E-N-S-L, Panda. Cuff us. Now here we are, cuffed up. And forced confessional. But honestly, if production didn't tell me about my wife doing that, that'll kind of piss me off too. Like, what the fuck? What video are you asking them all the time? Do what? What's the, what's the video you Slow see? motions of our fight. Slow uh -huh. motions of shit people say on our app and I've been fucking begging for it and then Luca came in and put some gay shit right Thank God I'm nearsighted and if you put something like this, it's a blur. Mm. Fucking blur. And that's what he did. He put it right in my face and, and some dark shit. I went like that. And I could just tell something fucking sexual. I, oh and I just turned away. Because I knew he was going to... Because I'm being sort of thinking that McDonald's shit. And then I stood up and realized, sorry, Luca. I tower over you, too. No offense, buddy. Huh. Really? No, I'm, I mean, I'm just calling him out as it is. Don't put some gay shit in my face if you can't produce what I asked for. He was so goddamn fast with that fish video. What happened again? Wah, 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 wah. Send me home if you want, but cry because you couldn't fucking beat the truth. Production. Viewers. Challenge open. Anyways, hi. We're just gonna sit here. What? What time is it, Simba? <laughs> you want us to talk about this? How crazy this is? Because it is. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's fucking insane. But, uh... We're back in the cell. Yep, and I actually, you know what I mean? Like, Chuck's and I, I'm not trying to lose my family over the shit. No, I'm not. Yeah. Not, neither of them. And when I called everybody out in the room, I said, yeah, nobody, nobody here. Everybody straight up said, no, Connor, everybody. Nobody's willing to lose their family over the shit. Whether they say in a challenge or not, nobody's willing to give up their fucking family. Oh, yeah, right. And fuck it, you know, I, I, I want to, you know, everybody wants to win the money, everybody wants to win that, but if it comes down to that, yeah. I can get it another way. Even he's saying, yeah, and honestly, if we found out this was a... I'm just tired. If bro. this is a gay show, would you stay or walk the fuck out now? Honest to God, Simple. No, walk out, definitely. I would, yeah. too. If I found out this and y'all been tricking us the whole time... Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I signed up for. No, it's not. It's not what we signed up for. People are coming in on false pretenses. I'm starting to like fucking, what the fuck? Oh, Male modeling, yeah. video games, creatine ads. I thought this was an outside woods thing. Everybody thought that Missy knew. Everybody thought of something different. Yeah. Making us look like fools. People laughing at us while we're cheering about Hulu and shit. Yeah. We're on a fucking website. Website that might have cost me my fucking family, yo. Yeah. Straight up. Simba, how are you with your mom and dad right now? I mean, I'm fine, but I don't think they see it. See this. I mean, I hope not. I don't know. I have you to th they tag your social medias. You know that, right? They, your mom and dad on your social medias? Yeah. Cool. How do you know they tag you? Because I found out the very first day. That they tag you? Yep. They tag me. They tag, you didn't hear someone just said in the room a few minutes ago, they tag everybody's social medias. Yeah, I wasn't listening to it. Yeah, they tag everybody's social medias. That's how my wife found out. That you know, that was on here, and I didn't even know this was this when I got here. And then she found out immediately, I guess she called or something. I didn't talk to her. We're locked up, no, sitting here, just talking. Handcuffed. There's nothing to say. Handcuffed. 2 30 in the morning, what the fuck? I mean, I'm Don't we dance enough like circus monkeys for you all day? Yeah. Don't we? How much more? This is getting fucking weird and scary, dude. <laughs> yeah. Weird and fucking scary. How much worse can this get? I don't know, but I mean, you, that's the thing. You just mentioned how much more can it get, and boom, we were thrown in this room. All together. They've been attacking me all night. Th th took my bed first, then took yours. Yeah. Cuffed you to Bert first, and I cuffed you to me, and now it's yeah. us in here. Why? Yeah, and now where am I getting cuffed? Stop cuffing me to people. Let me sleep. Cuff someone yeah. else. Quit fucking with me. Damn. Y'all got my mattress. 
Yeah, take my ba mattress away. Stop Let cuffing me, me. Yeah, I don't want to be cuffed. <laughs> Damn, I just want to rest. Our forced confessionals. Yeah, fuck that. We can do that in the morning hours. This is not the time. I'm already dead and on arrival when I get home. Like, what more you want <laughs> out of me? I'm fucking dead for entertaining for y'all. Fuck. DOA. Straight up. Straight up. That's not a joke. Like, that is not even funny. That is exactly what's gonna happen. Oh my god. I hope you made... I hope you made me look good, man. I hope. I hope I made you look good. What do you mean? <laughs> it made us look good. I mean, I'm fighting my own battle, man. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, man. Let's go back, bro. Can we? Yeah, he said whenever you're ready. Fuck this. He said whenever you're ready. Like, oh, yeah. the fuck? We've got to At 2.52 a.m., Symbol is doing a zip promotional. Dark Ben then brings Dark Bert to confessional. Talk for a bit. Right. Hey, what's up? Nick 93 Miller, Dark Bert here. Um, well, we're now doing some weird challenge where we're stuck in a bedroom with eight beds for the whole fucking night. I got handcuffed to Sybil again today. I had to be handcuffed with Silver earlier today. Well, I was handcuffed to Mizzy like three times. I wonder why I'm not being handcuffed to Alex, the one I really want to be next to me. Next to. Right. This whole thing seemed weird. I think I discovered some weird things with this place. Teddy, it was somewhere on this camp, on the campus of this built, of this compound the property. But now he's, I think he lost the challenge. He's only here. With this challenge, well, these new challenges, all these new people come come in, and they're the prisoners. I think one of them had a knowledge of other houses there besides this one. And it looks like the five houses against nonsense is bullshit. But there's something to it. I'm gonna focus right now on this house today. And the challenge. Gotcha. Want well, Connor? Every wrestling match with speedos and men in tight dresses is gay. Okay. Well, why, man, it's why, fake. Why, why, Shut the fuck up. Why do you think ass. about? Why do you think sexually about speedos with men in them? Because it's, I don't. Daddy Bird here. Daddy Bird or Dark Bird here is in it to win it. Dark Bird. Dark Bird is in it to win it. I'm gonna win this game by any means necessary. I'll play fair. When I have to, when it comes down to it, I'll get down and dirty if I need to, and I'm here to win by any means necessary. So thank you, Nick and Avery Miller, you rock, bro. At 2:57 a.m., Symbol is called for a forced confessional. At 3 a.m., production is further gaslighting Bert. That was a house three one. So for this house. Landlock is doing a Mizzy. Jet clarifies to Bert that he was joking about the house three thing and that there's only two houses. Oh, Jet. At 3.06 a.m., Symbol and Alex try and convince the audience to handcuff a different duo of contestants. A text-to-speech says, Alex, that fight was the most silly Billy thing I've ever seen. And I've seen Bert have LGBT relations with another man. Bert jumps up and says, Huh? Which adult film did you see of me? The other fish do a double take. But don't mention it again. Following this, Auntie Alex texts the speeches are relentless. At 3.17 a.m., Thank you, Aperture. Mizzy's bed is being removed. At 3.22 a.m., Mizzy, attached to Alex, has received her first forced confessional. This is Alex's fourth forced confessional fish toy of the night. In Alex and Mizzy's confession, Alex is still going on about the fight and wanting the video and how it doesn't exist. Kill me. Mizzy getting some rare W's by smiling and laughing in his face, rolling her eyes and getting dismissive of his fight and his claims about it, and says that he should have gone at it with more energy. At 3.38 a.m., Majaw comes in looking for Bert. He stands over him and calmly says, Get up. Once Bert gets up, he points to the left top bunk and tells Bert to get in it. Bert says okay and groggily and slowly climbs up. Once he's about to lie down, Majok says, 
what are you doing? The other bunk. Bert says, oh, oh, okay. And slowly climbs over the railing to the other top bunk. Once he finally gets over, Majok says, nah, man, I meant down here at the bottom, not up top. Bert complies and almost beefs it. This whole thing probably takes three minutes. His bed is taken. Majok forgets the name of who bought the bed. Fuck him. <laughs> no fucking, you are a paid actor. Oh my god, dude. Oh, dude, you're right. You're right on your nuts. A conspiracy. Oh my god. Yo, this the is fuck, the bird, the bird of bees. <laughs> no, no, god. Careful. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Bird is sitting up, muttering quietly slash silently to himself making hand gestures. Either that, or just moving his head around as if he's talking. At 3.44 a.m., thank you, Daniel from Second Life, Binks and Symbol are now handcuffed together. At 3.50 a.m., Peyton is made to do a zip promotional. Peyton didn't please the zip gods. Her bed is now gone. At 4.22 a.m., sound effects and text-to-speech are still going strong. Alex has been sent to two confessionals in a row. He's loving life right now. The most uncool thing of the night happens. Jeff is woken up to do a zip ad. What the fuck did Jeff ever do to you? Ever since Symbol plus Binks were handcuffed, Symbol has been cheating his bed snatch by laying on Jeff's mattress. And I'm not sure why someone hasn't intervened. Bird has given up on sleeping. He opts for standing instead. At 4.35 a.m., text-to-speech, sound effects, and toys are turned off, and it goes silent for a while. It might be the end of the night. At 4.36 a.m., nope, Happy Birthday song is playing, as well as the mariachi band, more sound effects, and text-to-speech. There appears to be a large backlog. At 5.30 a.m., there are sporadic horn honks and fog sprays, but everyone is conked out and sleeping through it at this point. Also, Jeff couldn't take the smell anymore and surrendered his bed to Symbol. Production had the grace to refund the guy that paid for the bed snatch. Not sure why they didn't just tell him to get the fuck up for the comedy and take a $600 loss, but whatever. And there you have it. That's how day 20 went on Famous House. Consider supporting me by liking, commenting, subscribing, joining my Patreon, doing some Kegels, and sending me good vibes. Check out fishtank.live to tune in live and subscribe to their official fishtankx.com page and YouTube channel. Stay skibbity!